all right hey guys welcome back to the channel and today we won't be uh, designing any model but uh, in fact we'll be learning some important tools regarding surface uh, modeling inside Katia v5 so as you can see I have a part design kind of this is kind of a pressed kind of a part uh, I did this inside uh, shape design and uh, in order to do this kind of stuff uh, if I switch it to shading with edges you can see how the part is so to do this kind of uh, modeling uh, you can utilize the generative shape inside Katia and uh, with few tools such as sweep offset blend and all those using fill command will create this all right so let's quickly see how we can uh, design this from scratch all right so I can go to start shape design generative shape part two okay <clears throat> now here what we can do is we can start with some basic sketches and let's go for yz plane go to sketch I'll take a three point arc let's say I start from here okay and I will give this 500 mm and the distance between both the points say 300 mm all right so this is my sketch one I will exit this and then I will do another sketch and this time we'll go for Z explain now here I will do another three point so like this give it a radii of 400 then I can make these two select these two points right click allow symmetry line and select this one I can also select this one and the origin point and go for coincidence all right from here we can exit the sketch and now we have two sketches so we can utilize the sweep command now sweep command you can find it over here or else you can go to insert and go to operations and here uh, not in the operation but in fact in the wireframe in the surface itself you'll find sweep command so I utilize it mostly from here so let's go for sweep the stripe we will be using as explicit with reference surface and for the profile let's select sketch one let's select from here and the guide curve let's select sketch two if you want to preview you can do that and press ok to confirm so this one is the sweep now from here we can let's say hide our sketch one and two and let's do another sketch so let's go for plane definition select xy plane go for 160 mm preview make sure your direction is up I'll press ok now I will select the plane one and go for a sketch and here I will quickly sketch a simple line make sure it is symmetric give it a dia uh, distance 200 also it should be from here let's say 50 mm let's go for three point arc starting from here and do one more arc like this let's say this is 300 mm I can select it mirror it all right next go for another three point arc from this end point 
to this endpoint and give it a radii 65. Now make sure both the arcs are tangent. So let's do these two also tangent. Once we have that, I can give a distance from here to here 180 mm. That makes our sketch fully defined. So I can exit my sketch. And now what we can do is we can utilize the projection tool to project this sketch on our sweep one surface. So let's go for projection. Go for a longer direction. Select sketch three as the projected. In the support, I will select sweep one. For the direction, I will select XY plane and press OK. You have a projection of your sketch three. All right, next we will utilize the split command. And in the split command, I will select element to cut as sweep one. And uh, select the projected one, project one as the cutting element. You'll have a preview of it. And that's what we wanted. All right, so we'll press OK to confirm. Now we'll utilize the offset command over here. So let's go for, or else you can also hide your sketch three so that it won't interfere and project one. Now let's go for offset. Let's select sweep one. Okay, in the surface I will select sweep one. And let's say we offset it. 6 mm reverse side preview. Yeah, that's fine. You can see if you rotate your part, you can see the preview of your offset. I think that's what I wanted. So I'll press OK. And next, we'll create uh, one more plane. So let's go for plane definition ZX plane 50 mm. OK another plane from zx plane this time 230 mm all right now we'll utilize these two planes to create a split so let's go for a split we'll go for sweep one as the element to cut and plane two as the cutting element now here, make sure you're uh, using, if you if you find it difficult to select the side, you can always go for other side and press OK to confirm. All right, similarly, we will do the split of offset one with respect to plane 3. We'll need to select the smaller side and that's what we wanted. If we do other side, the bigger one is selected which we don't want. OK to confirm. Let's check our split to once more. So yeah, that's fine. Now here we can utilize the blend command. So let's say if I hide this one, I am left with only these two curves. So I will utilize the blend command, which is right over here. And in the first curve, let's select this one and this support this one, second curve, this edge support this one. So we have a nice blend between both the smaller portion and let's say we have to go for tangency in the continuity option. All right. Now after that, I can go for another sketch. So let's go for a sketch, plane one, zoom to fit. Let's do another profile, start with a line. 
go for a distance of 180 also it should be symmetric so select both the points right click allow symmetry then we can go for three point arc from here like that go for a radius say 270 I can also define this from this edge 50 mm I can mirror my arc this one and then I can draw a three point arc between these two arcs and let's say give it 58.5 mm now obviously we need to give it a tangency so let's go for tangency between both the arcs and the final is from distance from here to this edge 157 and this makes our sketch fully defined so I can exit and now we will utilize the projection tool to project it on the blend so I'll select blend and then direction is XY plane we did it before so you know the right <clears throat> after that you can hide your sketch force we don't need that anymore and then we can utilize the split and select blend as the element to cut and the projection as cutting elements if you have the other portion selected make sure you utilize the other side all right like this now you can hide your sketch for if you want to and project to as well right let's show our split one We hide our split for just looking something like this let's show it all right so in the split for we have to go for the other side all right that's what we wanted now here we can go for boundary creation and to do that let's utilize the boundary so go for boundary definition make sure it is tangent continuity and select your let's say this one as my first boundary okay another boundary let's say this one another boundary will define as this point and in the limit I can say it's from here but let's change it like that now here the trick is it should only be up to here so I'll cancel it go for boundary creation and let's say we only select this portion and I'll give limit one as this and reverse it all right so make sure you are zooming in to the area to select the boundary limit for these two edges I'll select this one and give limit as this one okay now we have the boundary I can utilize my fill command and to do that let's start with the fill command select this one support with this one select this one and then select this edge supporting edge this one select this one supporting edge this one and we can select 
one refer supporting is this one review it and you have a nice fill between those boundary all right and after that we can typically go for join operation to join split one split four and fill one okay if you want to apply material you can also do that you can go to tools and hide all your planes go to tools hide all your sketches you can hide all your boundaries as well so boundary one two three four so that's how you can create a nice part like this inside shape design in Katia v5 i hope you guys like it and understand the basic concepts of sweep extrude offset blend split boundary fill and join operation inside the Katia v5 so if you have any doubts with this one feel free to comment down below i'll see you guys in the next tutorial peace out